Hello peoples, it's been a long night. Today I watched the Marvels, and then I saw the Holdovers, then I get home, and then I watched the Loki season finale. So I'm very kind of overwhelmed right now, but first I'm going to be talking about the Marvels because it's the thing I saw first. The movie I've had the most time to sit with, and I know my thoughts on this movie. The trailers to this movie didn't do very much for me. I thought the first teaser trailer was actually a lot of fun. I really like the introduction to the idea of switching places. I seemed, thought that seemed really fun. I really liked the cast, so I was on board. Then the second trailer came out, and then it just, looked like the, it just looked like a Marvel movie to me. And now that I've seen the movie, I thought the movie was like a weird mix of both. I thought the movie had tons of fun with the switching of places. There's a lot of fun to be had with this movie, but it also is ultimately kind of that generic Marvel movie I didn't want. So it was the movie I thought it would be and not at the same time. Unfortunately, I still didn't think this was an amazing movie. I think there is a plethora of problems that this film has, but considering that the reviews came out yesterday and it had me ready for the worst Marvel movie ever, now that I've seen it, I don't think it is by a long shot. People had me ready for this to be Quantumania level bad. Quantumania is my least favorite MCU movie. It's the thing I really despise the, in the MCU. I think it's the worst thing they've done. I fell asleep both times watching Quantumania. I re like, I've seen everything in that movie. I had to rewind the second time when I bought it on 4k unfortunately I bought that thing this movie I did not get tired I watched the whole thing pleasantly by the time it ended I was like that's gonna be dreadfully for forgettable but like you know it, it was it had me entertained throughout and I think a lot of this entertainment has to do with Iman Milani as Miss Marvel she is fantastic in this movie her character is so much fun her family is so much fun they're all here and they have a decent amount of screen time Captain Marvel she has a little bit more personality this time I still don't think they quite figured her out as a character. I don't think Marvel Studios has her figured out. I don't think Brie Larson has her figured out because Marvel Studios nor nobody over there is giving her much of a direction beyond superhero. And she just tries her best at what she's given there. Tiana Paris as uh, Maria Rambo or Rambo. What's her first name? Maria? I think so. I could be wrong. Don't uh, yell at me if I'm wrong. She's there. There's some motivations with her that make absolutely no sense early on in the movie. The character arcs in this movie and each character's motivation make little to no sense, particularly Rambo and Captain Marvel's, and it's just best you don't think about that part of the movie too much. They try to do something with it and it doesn't really work too well. Uh, my biggest issue with this movie, and this is like kind of my own way of saying it's super rushed and it, the way that this movie feels, is I felt like I was watching a movie at five five times speed and it just felt like such a glossed over overview of a like a either a tv show or a five hour movie everything just really didn't fall flat like i don't know if anyone's actually watched a movie like at 5x i haven't but like i've seen what it looks like when you're watching a movie at 5x and it made me have that feeling of like okay now we're here now we're here now we're here okay we're this we're here this that was really fast really fast that was really rushed but obviously it's not actually rushed because you're watching it at 5x but this movie feels like it was being played in really fast motion. I'm not, not literally, but just the way that the movie moves. It's always going back and forth, particularly when the movie goes from the second act to the third act and some of the most jarring editing I've ever seen in my life. And it's just like, okay, we're here, we're here, we're here, and now we're here. It's just like, oh my God, that was a leap. Because it's like, how do I put this? There's a reunion towards the end of the movie. And once that reunion happens, it feels like that character was only gone for like three seconds. The whole movie, I'm not going to lie, this movie felt like it was 45 minutes to me. When the credits started rolling or when I could tell we were reaching the end of the movie, I was like, it's done. And that's that's not because like I felt like there was like a weird structure to it. It just felt like it went by super fast. And there's a lot of uh, reasons obviously behind that. I think a lot of it is reshoots the script and the editing. I think the editing is the biggest offense of this. I think the um, editing really just threw this entire movie off because it's just so jarring and maybe it could also be reshoots. I'm very curious what the first early drafts of the scripts look like because I don't even know if some of the stuff that happened in this screenplay could have been worse. <laughs> I know that sounds awful when I say it, but I'm just talking about when you're stitching together the, these ideas because in, there's not really a lot of bad ideas in this movie. I really like the switching of the um, characters. I think they have a lot of fun with that. Villain sucks in this movie, like like easily one of the worst villains Marvel's done, which is shocking that they are able to pull that off so late into their uh, filmography. <laughs> but the motivation for her character was actually pretty intriguing and not a bad idea. And her connection to Captain Marvel is quite intriguing, but it's not explored 
at all. At all. Everything is just very surface value with every motivation, with every character. It just falls flat. And that's what I mean when I say they're glossed over and then they're rushed to the next sequence that feels rushed. And then you go to the next sequence that feels rushed. And the entire movie, like I said, feels like you're watching it at 5x speed. You really can't really feel anything. All those complaints aside, there are good things to enjoy with this movie. There's a lot of good comedy. I laughed consistently throughout. I thought it was really, really funny, particularly with Kamala Khan and her family. I will never not find them funny. I think the CGI was actually a little bit of a step up compared to the average MCU film right now. Usually the average MCU movie, 30% of the CGI looks good, then 70% of it looks bad. I would say that's been upgraded to 60% looks good and 40% looked okay to bad. There was a lot of shots in here. I was like, okay, that is a step in the right direction. So I know this movie was delayed and they had a lot of time to maybe work on VFX and good job. I can tell that this one was a little bit better. Was it fixed or all that great? Not really, but I can tell that it was definitely better than um, Quantumania and about, I would say, on par with the CG that I saw in Guardians 3. So that's a good thing for sure. There are some really fun action sequences. I saw this movie in IMAX and also IMAX 3D, which was not a thing because the 3D was not on the entire movie. I was going like this with my glasses and I was like, there's no difference. There's no difference. I almost took off my glasses, but I realized that uh, when I had the glasses on, the black levels were a little bit more steady. So I was like, let me keep them on because maybe it's just there was that going for it. Yeah, the IMAX sequences were pretty well utilized. It didn't feel like it was going like this, like some Marvel movies do with the ratio. Overall, it was a fun movie. You don't think about it. You turn your brain off. You take your kids. It's just a really bad script, unfortunately. But I think a lot of the cast, some of the action, and these characters really hold the movie together. But is the movie all that great? No. It's an enjoyable bad movie. It's an enjoyable bad Marvel movie, and I think it's really bad at most. I'm going to give the Marvels a 5.5 out of 10. And I realize it's the same score that I gave the first Captain Marvel, but they're completely different movies. The first Captain Marvel is just very very mediocre and it's a very mediocre watch and everything is just kind of steady lined at mediocre. This movie has some great elements, some bad elements, some mid elements, and they all just kind of even out to the same score or level, I would say. I feel like if I was given to watch the Marvels again or Captain Marvel, I would say the Marvels just because it has a little bit more fun with its action sequences. The characters feel like they have a, little, a touch more personality, even though there's not really a lot of depth to them. Yeah, that's my review for the Marvels. Comment down below what you guys thought. There's a post credit scene, people went crazy. I was like, okay, yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> it, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. I, I, it, it's probably one of the biggest post credit scenes Marvel has ever done. But um, with the quality of content Marvel that we've been getting lately, I felt myself more concerned rather than um, excited. The thing that they set up is huge and I'd love it to be in a great movie. The huge things that they're setting up I would really like to be better than mindless 5.5 out of 10s. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, like, share, subscribe and stuff like that. And adios.